what up? Welcome to another episode of our monthly wrap up. Kali video go radie. Yo, what's good, everybody? Kali naked tabang. What's good, everybody? I go by the name of Tumelo. Sabox. What's good, everybody? I'm with the content slayer, slaying the content as always. Offense is the name. Hey, yeah, man, we out here in San Esh. The name, San Giro. I think it's San Giro, but anyway. We'll put the name somewhere here on the screen. Yeah, came to shoot some content here uh, for our travel show. So yeah, it's our monthly wrap up. So here we go. Let me go in. Question one. What's the weirdest or most unexpected comment you've received on your videos this month? I don't know about weird. I would go for unexpected comment. Um, I almost said something, but let me skip it. You know. Um, actually, we received um a comment um on our Sunlam. Yeah, man, Sunlam. Damn, we got a lot of comments. They weren't like weird. They were like good comments for us. You know, it was our first commercial that we shot this year. Um, yo gang gang comments from different people shout out to everybody by the way shout out to people who are just giving us support you know and just rooting for us yeah yeah that's where we got like a lot of comments so yeah shout out to sanlam for putting us on shout out to the teams for putting us on that ad hey yo the chop in it the choppers are actually wild bro i was watching the episode we actually dropped on thursday and yo i read such a weird comment um, we had Dice on the show um, for the culture chop, and the weirdest comment I read was, "This Dice guy should never come back on the chop." But why? Why we are taking the man when he's just speaking his his truth on the game? That was the weirdest one. It was it's like, yo, people can be rude. I think there was a time during uh, we were, we were just about to shoot chop in it, and then culture chop. Uh, and I went outside with some other homies that came through on that day, you know. Uh, so, yeah, and we got outside, they just started talking. Uh, they just started telling me, you know, hey, man, the work that you guys are doing at Bro Beans, we mess with the energy that you guys are putting out and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, that was unexpected for me. It really caught me off, off guard because I even told the guys, I was like, yo, uh, this is what brought that's what actually brought me here also the energy you know i gravitated towards the energy that these guys were putting out so the work and stuff so yeah that was fire you know that was that was pretty dope so the weirdest thing that i've ever received in our monthly wrap up videos content um it was chopping it actually well everybody every everyone was going uh, um going after dice you know yeah i mean the boy the boy is innocent he's he's there to support um zinga you know and now everybody's hating um most of the people they, uh they were like they don't want to see him there but guys come on come on guys show some love to the young kid you know but anyway we move negativity by ready there let's go and second question Share a recent fan encounter or message that made your day. Yo, a fan. I don't even know if a man has fan out here. Whoever who's watching or whoever who sees the kid out there, you know, and and happens to be a fan, uh, shout out. I would have to say, not necessarily a fan, but obviously the clients that we work with, people that we work with, they always like compliment the work that we do. So, uh, that always that always makes you know our day you know that always makes my day hearing having to hear people saying which you know what that was fire that was dope that was nice you know that's dope uh what what made my day is that there was a time um i got a call from one of my um classmates you know he was like hey boy i see you guys are doing the most you know um after we shot Salam all those things like everybody everyone was impressed 
about that video um, and how we shot it, you know. And it made me realize that um, sometimes we, we doubt ourselves, but every time, like there are, there's someone out there who's looking up to us, you know. That person was like, nah, boy, I'm, I'm, I'm really inspired and I wish one day that we can work together because you guys are doing the most. And for that, shout out to that, man. It's all love. And trust me, you're gonna get there. You're gonna be on top one day. Okay, I want to say we don't want to fans, but like people like who just genuinely support us. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we don't call them fans. I feel like those are like musician stuff. But uh, a message that really made made my 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 month was um, from from my dog Tabos from Touchline. Shout out to you, man. You sent me really an encouraging message. Um, so really meant a lot to me so shout out to you for you know recognizing just the work that we do because you know from day one what we've been through and the things that we've been pushing so just on our private lives you know you're always just encouraging and just you know just sending me messages making sure that i'm good you know everybody actually you know who's just on a private space you know well besides work you know we have great relationships you know outside of work with other people you know and clients you and you know and just to have encouraging um conversations and just Letting us know how we can build together, you know, it's really, really helping us. So, yeah, shout out to everybody who's just on the private, just, you know, building us and just making sure that they support us really well. Shout out to you guys. I think I don't have like a specific day, but when like our podcast clients come through, like Culture Code, uh, Success Rate and the others that we shoot and they're always just saying, yo, the sound that Bro Beans is actually killing. Um, I can't remember which, I think it was Culture Code, the first episode that we dropped. I uh, got like a, a screenshot from Ofi showing me that someone was like, yo, the sound here is very good. So when the sound is good, I'm happy because the visuals is always top notch. Yes, sir. Have you explored any new, what is this? Is it filming? Filming locations or setup this month? Um, honestly, not okay there's a new film that we're shooting shout out to Oratile. um yeah we're supporting him see the six man um yeah i was supposed to be in that sh uh film but i was like nah because i don't know anything i don't know a lot about football you know so i was like nah you handle it my boy but if you need a support just know that the bro beans we always there for you so yeah that, that is one of the things that um, that was so, so far it's new to us and we're excited to work on. And number two is that I'm also um, bringing up uh, the new show. It's gonna be called um, Tell the Story with Sabox. You know, I'm excited to actually. Let me not spoil the bread. Um, let me just mise it and yeah, just know that. Tell the story with the box is coming out and you guys should be ready for the new show from sponsored by Bro Beans Studio. Ha. Uh, not really, but the chances that we get with our travel show, I think she's showing us different like dope locations, you know. Um, like now it's our second time here at San Guerrero. I hope that I say it right. Yeah, in Bloom. Um, when we came this side, we came, this is our second time here. So it's pretty dope to come here again because um, first of all, it's not it's not expensive. For four people, we paid like two seven. Um, you know, the animals are right outside the yard, so it's pretty dope. It's pretty nice. It's pretty chilled. Very nice, more comfortable for four people, four gems. You know, um, we enjoyed it. So there's a lot of places that we see. You know, I haven't really found a place that I say, yeah, I really love this place. I'd go there again and again. But yeah, we're still traveling. So. Every province is just showing us um different place. So, yeah, shout out to every province, man. I think where we're at right now, in Bloom, um, what a fire spot. It's our second time out here um, at the spot, just to shoot the spot and stuff. The first time we came, we arrived late because we are shooting and then we had to come here. Just slept a couple of hours and we went to the shoot and we're out. So, yeah, I think this, this place is actually fire. It's dope. Animals and stuff woke up seeing giraffes today so by the way man the boy Oratile, you know the sound engineer bro beans uh 
has, has just started his podcast, the 12 Man Podcast. So uh, we, we are trying by all means as a team to try and work around that whole thing, the setup, everything, content and, and, and stuff. So that's pretty much what I can, what I can, what I can say uh, on that. Question number four. Share a funny blooper behind the scenes moment from your recent content creations. Probably one of the bloopers from Debs' episodes. Those are normally funny. Check the PTS out. You know what I'm speaking about. Usually before before the cameras before the cameras before we, we, we roll on cameras, they usually there's a lot going on in the room, you know. Uh, so it's it's funny. Uh, I I can't right now pick one moment that i remember at the top of my head but usually stuff that's happened that's happening behind the scenes is it's funny man it's weird you know we get to talk about the most uh <laughs> i don't even know what what word to to say but uh it's usually stuff we wouldn't you know say on camera so that silly stuff you know uh yeah so there's episodes guys we can't release especially like chopping it this is an episode we can't release and i wanted to release that track but we couldn't yeah man so those are like type of content that we can't like show because of time and just how quick we have to be in this day and age of content creation you know what i mean um so we still have the content well i think i deleted it yeah, I think I deleted it because I was so sad that we can't release the content for chopping it. Um, we have to edit certain things out. So it's just like a lot of things, bloopers that we have to take out. Yeah, you know, things that are funny. But then as time goes by, you can't just use that same content. You know what I mean? But yeah, there's definitely episodes that we have in the bag, you know, um, that obviously with certain clients we can't release because of just the nature of the game. You know, I won't lie, man. I'm so right, Dilo, but I'm gonna put you on the spotlight. All right, Dilo, every time when he's sick, guys, hey, those guy acts funny. <laughs> those guy will be like, oh my God, Dilo, yeah, it's painful. I need to see a doctor. That time, it was just a flu, my boy. <laughs> but you know, those us guys, like, my team is funny. Uh, um, yeah, Oretili is the funniest guy anyway. So it's all love, my boy. I'm not. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> mm, question five. What's the most surprising thing you've learned while making videos this month? Um, this month, man. Yo, bro. I think I didn't know that you can back up footage when you like when you lost it. Like I never knew. I thought when it's gone, it's gone discovered a new thing in the space and when you're working with a team like Broke Beans that's supportive you never get to worry about anything you know what I mean the team always tries its best to make sure that we learn stuff to make sure that we have our stuff good and yeah man that's one of the things I learned I guess we still, I still got a long way to go I've learned that uh, the process of making videos or shooting videos you actually have to have some sort of uh, a picture you know uh in your mind already in terms of how you want the story to be like i mean in that way things become more much more easier for you to uh to put whatever that you try to put together your video so you have to have some sort of an idea already planned in your mind you have to see it first you know in in your in your in your mind and then uh obviously put it together in that way uh, so that's one thing I've, I've 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 actually learned and got to take very very serious right now and it actually makes more editing like easier and fun because you already know what you're dealing with just create man just go shoot and and capture learn styles learn techniques you know i think um with me the surprising thing that i kind of just learned for myself is just that I still enjoy this thing. Um, yeah, I still enjoy it, man. I'm still learning a lot. Um, so it still surprises me that I can still get up and do this thing and, you know, enjoy being with the team and really put my, you know, best foot forward. You know what I mean? Um, through mistakes and everything. Um, so that's one surprise, 
surprising thing. Um, so that's one surprising thing for me that just keeps me um, going, you know, um, and that I've learned about myself, you know. Um, also, just like surprising things, just like, hey, man, the team just kicking ass, man. Like, we're really just pushing. Fails or not, the support has gone to, you know, yeah, 200. Yeah, especially because this month was a tough month. This month was a tough month, you know. But yeah, we picked ourselves up. We got up. Shout out to Cam, you know, shout out to Hero also, you know. Um, love you guys. So, yeah, just much love for the team. We're all just doing our best, you know. Hey, there was a video that, <laughs> there was a time we went to a shoot and our camera just decided to format our, our video, you know. And that time we only saved that one video, so to receive or to get it back, it was, it was tough, but we were patient with that, you know, to get the video back. And we didn't know that after... We didn't know that we can get some videos while the camera formatted the card, you know. So yeah, we got we got the video back by the way and it's just that we're not sure if we're still gonna use it because ish there's a lot missing. So but what I know is that we managed to get the video back and yeah man. That was surprising to me because I know once the card is formatted, that's chai. But anyway, what do we do? We move on, I guess. Yes, sir. And number six, what's your go-to snack or drink during long editing sessions? <laughs> coffee. Uh, coffee. I'm a coffee nigga, so if you, if I can have just my coffee, I'll be I'll be dope. I would like that. When I like editing, there's things that I like. I like biscuits. Biscuits. I love biscuits, man. Biscuits are delicious. As long as I got biscuits. You know, I can edit at home and chill and have a chill out night, yeah. So, as long as I have biscuits, man, I can go in, you know. You can have me edit for long, yeah. After a long editing, I always prefer being with someone next to me to crack a joke, especially Ratila, like I said, he's the funniest dude in the world right now, so. Um, <laughs> so, my boy is always funny, so he will tell me that we should go and buy some. You know, there's a drink that he drinks. I forgot the name. I go for go for Coke, you know, chocolates. Then we just, he, he's just going to be my clown for the day. So, yeah, <laughs> otherwise, let's go. I think definitely the Doritos at Mr. Henry's shop. Those keep me sorted throughout my day. What's your favorite shoot this month? My favorite shoot this month. What was your favorite shoot this month? Sheesh. Definitely the emergency job. I think it was one of the, like, bro, that chop was a chop that we just woke up in the morning and we got the message in the group, like, yo, 10 o'clock, we on set. Bro, that time, we get to the office at night. So, rush to the office, setting up, and yo, bro, we did the emergency chop. We were, we were actually responding to, 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 a homie that, that actually dropped like a diss song on, on, on the OG, Buddha, and yeah, man, it was just like a, the way the, the chop was put together, because normally with the chops, like, we know which days we shoot, but that was just out of nowhere, and it was a fire chop. I think more than the diss and whatever, it was just a fire chop. Um, it was a podcast, happened, covered content, dropped. I think the edit was done immediately after the chop and the chop was dropped the following day. So it can tell you how we work in here, bro. This is, it's double P, so it means big penis. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the, there's this culture chop that we shot. Uh, I think it was during that time, of course, when uh, uh, there was a diss track directed to Zinga and, 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 and stuff. So during that point, we got to do a, a, a emergency culture chop. So for me, uh, that was that was my favorite. I think I even said it after the episode. I was like, "Yo, that was a fire chop," because I really like uh, fuck with. I really messed. I really enjoyed the conversation and stuff. My favorite shoot. Okay, we didn't do a lot of shoots this month. We did a lot of edits because we have to catch up um, with so much edits. Um, but my favorite shoot was definitely. Uh, I have two two this month and for two different reasons one was chopping it the emergency chop 
because it's a quick turnaround that we had to do and just like how everybody was just excited to shoot the chop and just like everybody just pulled up you know um yeah because buddha called me on a sunday we just like yo we have to shoot tomorrow uh which was not our usual schedule so man we pushed that was dope chargeify was dope i enjoyed shooting chargeify chargeify was dope shout out to Kosi, shout out to the chargeify team shout out to merc and shout out to netcare um that was dope because we met netcare guys there um you know kind of like want to work with us so that was also dope but also i enjoyed outside the shoot i enjoyed editing mte man mte express was dope i enjoyed editing that client was happy um can't wait for you guys to see the mte ad and yeah i won't lie guys um shout out to um my favorite shoot it was chargeify shout out to kosi he's the one who's been putting us on and i won't lie kosi he's I don't know why, but he trusts us a lot. Hey, especially when it comes to big gigs. Uh, Ch Chargeify bands, by the way. Um, imagine Chargeify bands. We have we have to handle such things, you know. So he's the one who's been looking up to us. And every time when we give him the videos and the pictures, he will make sure that he gets back to us and comment and be like, "James, you guys make me proud all the time," you know. So it's one of the things that. I'm super happy about because he's a he's a loyal client I won't lie you're such a loyal client shout out to you my G and and that's it for the monthly wrap up anyway just know that another blue Mila Mo blue fountain we're chilling you know later on we're just gonna pry you know create some content for the I don't know the name of the place but I hate sending locations so I'm just gonna say blue fountain and Rabbi Kena one time. It's all love, guys. Go by the name of Tumela Sabokolori. We out! Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>